from Graphic Extras. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the new zoom burst effect. And you can find that in the guided option. I'm just going to quickly go over to guided. And you'll see zoom burst there. Just quickly apply that. And you can add zoom burst. You can obviously apply it a number of times. You've got this quite zoom effects right to the center zoom as well as apply a vignette to the design which of course you can apply multiple times as well now i'm actually going to go click cancel because i don't want that at this point i'm actually going to go to the expert mode and in expert mode i can actually go to a layer duplicate layer i'm actually going to have a work on another layer i'm going to keep the background layer the same okay now i can go to the selection tools and I'm going to select elliptical marquee there's it there just go there and I just want to actually apply the zoom effect to this region I'm going to go to select feather and I'm going to go for about 20 that's that's fine so the actual effect now will not actually affect any of the other area outside of this selection okay going to go back to guided and zoom burst just click that again add zoom burst and you will just see instead of actually applying the center of the image you can actually apply it to other parts of the image you can also of course apply a vignette but the weird thing about a vignette it actually creates the effect over the entire thing it completely ignores the selection so so that's done and I can okay click done so once I'm actually out of there I can actually go back to expert and the expert you'll notice actually it's created a few more layers so I'm just gonna blend those layers merge layers so we've got back to one and I've got this this effect now of course if I want to I can actually go to another selection and I can do the same again feather just 20 and I can go back to guided zoom burst add zoom burst add zoom burst add zoom burst so now you've actually got an image that's actually got multiple zoom bursts so not just only one center you can actually create a zoom burst with multiple centers and again apply vignette if you wish done now go back to expert and again you've, you've got actually multiple layers again so we can actually go back layer and merge layers get rid of the selection and now of course you've actually got multiple layers you've got obviously one that's been untouched by the effect and you can apply other effects so you don't actually have to go for that one you could go for say color half tone click OK now of course you can't see it so at this point you go to layer and you can go with the blending modes you can go for lighten soft light etc darken and so you've got the actual zoom effect as well as obviously maybe a pretty bad choice of, of effect to apply but color halftone since it destroys quite a lot of things but there is still that sort of zoom effect blur so I can actually go back and actually create maybe a slightly better choice than that one but of course you could don't have to even apply an effect you can actually just go to layer and you can go screen overlay and so on and there is a subtle a fairly subtle effect that can be used with the zoom burst combination of course you don't even have to stop there you can actually apply multiple zoom bursts in different angles in the different images and different layers anyway i hope you found this tutorial of interest and that you'll subscribe to graphic extras channel always adding new tutorials every couple of days thank you much